For most Nigerians, the weather these days is becoming increasingly hot and unbearable, thereby causing profuse perspiration, which does not seem to have reprieve even at night. Experts say this is the effect of global warming currently sweeping across the globe. What we're looking at now is an effect of what we as humans have been doing over years industrialization we have been in a situation where we have now produced so much greenhouse gases that we have affected the whole balance on earth climate change is becoming an emerging public health and environment concerns if proper preventive measures are not taken the high temperature coupled with humidity can lead to mortality and morbidity where it continues unbatedly through the night there's the short-term effect and there's the long-term effect now we talk of the short-term effects for example you're working in an environment there's something we call heat fatigue and there's something we call heat stress. You're just uncomfortable. You can't seem to function properly. You can't seem to accumulate. Your productivity is low. Now, on a longer term effect, what are the things that could happen to you? There's something we call heat cramps. You know, heat cramps, you have muscle cramps, for example, that people feel from exercises. But this one is caused as a result of heat. You feel pain in your arms, pain in your abdomen. Another effect that could arise from this heat is called heat exhaustion. Now, what is exhaustion? Exhaustion means you're tired, right? But exhaustion means you've been standing for a longer time of period exposed to this heat that is happening at this moment. Before you know it, you begin to feel dizzy. You have that light-headedness and before you know you could faint. Although the location of the country makes it immune to extreme weather events like the tropical storms, the Nigeria Meteorological Agency has warned Nigerians to brace up for more hotter days. It has been terrible. Even to sleep in the night is a problem. When you own the jet, the fan is blowing heat. It's not easy. It's that you cope with the nature of life. It's all over the world. It's happening around. So with this, it's that if you have AC, good for you. If you don't, you cope with it. For the past three days now, I've lost over 10 kg. I'm telling you, like it's so it's hot from morning till night. Like I've never experienced this before. Number one, you need to shield yourself. Get sunglasses. Get sunshades. You know, don't wear heat-absorbing clothes. The type of clothing materials that you wear. Then, if you're working in an environment where you feel that it is too hot, you may need to change the space. Maybe that area is particularly too hot for you. You need to change your space to somewhere that is cooler. Then you also could take in cooler things, cool water, cool drink, depending on whatever you feel like taking. If you are at home, you have to take a bath. You could take a cold bath. You know, take a cold bath so that you could feel refreshed, open the windows, stay in areas where, you know, fresh air is blowing in just to feel more comfortable. With desert encroachment in most parts of the country, resulting in depleted vegetation and wind erosion, the solution to adverse effects of global warming still remains the sustained tree planting culture. This is the inevitable action to take in order to stay alive. Bukola Taylor Cole, LTV News.